All right, here we go. Everyone hates Tesla. And this is the big one right here, guys. <laughs> Everyone really hates Tesla. This is going to be exciting. And let's start off by saying I'm voting yes for the pay package. Shout outs to the big homie, Elon. But let's jump right into it. This is going to be a big mind, big deal thing. So let's jump into the video. Tesla is now going to be going to shareholders, asking them to vote again on Elon Musk's multi-billion dollar pay package uh, that they had already granted back in 2018. But a Delaware court had voided that package about three months ago. Join us right now to talk about this on the Squawk News line, former SEC chairman Jake Clayton, also a CNBC contributor. Uh, the appeal is going to happen in parallel. They're going to continue that. But uh, it appears that such a, a vote, if in fact it was to vote in favor of it, Jay, uh, would make any type of appeal moot. What do, what do you make of this, this idea that they're basically going to attach the decision uh, to the proxy and say, hey, uh, we've just, you know, if the judge didn't think we disclosed everything before, we've disclosed everything now. Well, I think um, I think you've captured it uh, exactly right, Andrew. Um, here we go back out to shareholders and we say uh, you have the facts and now you have the benefit of all this hindsight. And if you vote in favor of the same package again, um, it, to me, and I'm, and I'm speaking just very, um, uh, you know, 30,000 foot level, it does um, obviate uh, the need for the appeal. Um, and, and look, a, appeal process, court process um, is fairly messy. And if uh, you go to direct to shareholders and they have all the information, um, that, that seems to be a much more efficient way to deal with this. Um, if, in fact, shareholders um, want to continue with this pay package. And what I'll note is, um, you know, this is all part of, uh, I would imagine, retention of Mr. Musk going forward right. as well. And that's and this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look, we already were informed from the first time when we voted for this pay package. OK, someone has made an argument that they weren't disclosed with all the information. Things weren't transparent enough. But this time around. I'm thinking that, hey, you got all the information. We went to court about this, and now we're going to make another decision. And so this is going to be a big decision. And at least for me, I can speak about my votes for the shares that I own. And it's way more than seven shares, okay, than the person who actually filed this claim. But net-net across the board, I'm definitely going to support it. I'm going to be there in square. End of story. That's the big leverage point in this, which is to say, you know, I think a shareholder has to worry or would, would have to think about whether they should be worried that he's going to you know, focus his attention elsewhere. Having said that, as the judge said, he already owns a huge portion of, of Tesla. Is he incentivized to keep, to keep going, if you will? Well, shareholders made the judgment. Look, look whether shareholders um, knew or did not know of the conflicts um, and what the judge cited was um, lack of process and the like at the time, when shareholders voted on this in 2018, they certainly understood the economics. Yep. Um, it was widely reported. You widely reported. I think it was a, you know, a 25, 30 to one shot that this would pay off. The you know expected value at the we'll time was, was was two billion dollars. Um, the shareholders, the sophisticated shareholders, they knew what they were voting. But Jay, so that's the interesting part about this, which is to say, you're right. In 2018, everyone thought this was a completely shoot for the moon. Now, see. Even if people thought it was a shoot for the moon, for actually somebody to complete the task that was a shot for the moon, and then you to renege on the actual promise that you made them is a little pathetic. But I don't think this has much to say about shareholders. Then it has to say about the small exception to the rule and the extreme judge in this case. Uh, you know, as, as I said at the time, a skin in the game program. But it, it, and that was thought, but the context was different. Everybody was thinking about it prospectively. And they thought, you know what, if magically this actually were to somehow come to be, God bless, you'd be very happy to pay it. However, as you know, there are lots of people that when they get in a position and they can now look back and say, do I need to, do I need to pay all $50 billion? Um, if I could cut that by $10 billion or $20 billion, would I? And, and I think that's going to be the question today. And, um, you know, they did say, Tesla, this is that, there are four of the largest shareholders in the company that want this vote and want to vote in favor of it. But I'm curious how you think shareholders should think about this, even the ones that voted in favor of it the first time. See, so that was a little weasel like. And so I don't know how we're on a financial channel saying I'm going to be a weasel, but I'm not surprised neither. This is from CNBC. 
and actually just from some host, but net net across the board, if I said I'm going to pay you and you do something tremendous and then I look later on when you basically almost accomplish the impossible and create tremendous amounts of wealth for me, and then I say, well, do I have to pay you? I'm going to not even think about it. I'm going to pay you because at the end of the day, I would not be sitting on the immense, immense amount of wealth that I sit on without your hard work and dedication. And when he went along the lines and described things as magical, it has nothing to do with magic, okay? Businesses from good to great don't achieve greatness by magic. And also this shows how ignorant this actual reporter or his actual articulation of this story is. A great company does not become great by magic and fairy dust. It comes magical by a great leader, great staff, great employees, and a great culture that actually push forwards to innovate. All the finer details about why Tesla has been able to accomplish what it has been able to accomplish is in the finer details about how the company operates. But again, these guys don't really cover that type of information. They don't cover that about any company. All they do is cover stocks going up and down day to day, week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter, year to date, year over year, year to year, and that's it. Short-term trading, they don't cover the fundamentals of any corporation in companies in which they talk about. They just talk about stock tickers and they do something completely different. So guys, you're going to have to just be careful, but be very mindful of a person who says something like that. Well, I, I do believe and I, and also never buy a house from that guy. Andrew, I, I'm not an expert on the terms of this pay package. I do believe that there's a retention element. Yes. Um, if the shares are awarded as as um, as planned in 2018 for five years, I mean that was one of the reasons that I thought the the program was actually so aligned with Charles. He has not been granted any of the shares yet, and even if he were to get them today, he would still have to hold them for another five years. So he's with the shareholders for the for the next five year ride. So I, I think you're right to to think about this in both ways. What what was originally granted? What are the if you're a shareholder? What are the likelihoods that it's going to be reversed on appeal and go back to the same way? And then what's the likelihood that you're going to have to replace it if it's not reversed on appeal with something similar? You know, a rational shareholder may say, "Hey, let's just vote for this and get on with it." From an SEC perspective, Jay, are there no issues to be looked into? I mean, can can uh, a company put up for vote a pay package for for work that was done in the past, which is kind of unusual? I mean. How do you think about if you were still at the SEC, how would you think about this? Well, look, the SEC um, is a disclosure based organization. And, and, and the real the real question here is, is the disclosure uh, sufficient for people to make an informed voting decision? Um, yeah, in this one, of course, the SEC is going to look at it and think about it. But uh, this may be the most uh, disclosed and examined uh, pay package in the history of pay packages. So as he heard it, you heard it from a former SEC chairman. This is the most scrutinized, the most transparent company package ever. And also for a CEO to be sitting around and not receiving an actual salary. And this is the only way that Elon is compensated. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and sad that shareholders at the basis have to even go around about having our CEO for our specific company not even being paid. That is ridiculous. I don't care how much money he has in his bank account or the only thing I really care about is, is he being compensated? And he is not at all. And that is ridiculous. He could be sitting around chillaxing like Jeff Bezos. And of course, he came back to Amazon at a certain point. But net net, for him not to be paid, and this is the most transparent package ever. And so we're going to move forward and we're going to vote yes. Uh, final thought, Jay, which is... Is there something to look into? Normies. Always trying to drum up some issues, trying to jam somebody up. Is there something... You sound like Biden. He needs to be looked into. There was obviously a 
uh, a plaintiff's lawyer that brought this case, and we were, we were talking about the possibility that the plaintiff's lawyer could actually become part of a proxy campaign against the approval of this. What would happen to the appeal if, if, if this, in fact, were to uh, be voted and approved? Do you think that Tesla says they're going to continue with the appeal? Part of that would be because they'd have to probably pay the legal fees for the plaintiff's lawyer, right? Uh Look, let, let's let's separate let's separate that from um, you know the shareholder voting process. It, 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 it's 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 America. Um, wonderful thing about America is we're going to hear all sorts of opinions on whether people should vote yes or no um, uh, with the disclosure. In terms of how the court plays out and whether the plaintiffs um, at the end of the day added value um, for the, the right. Tesla shareholders. That that will be that will be that question. Did did this process add value, and, and should they be compensated for it? We got to run. Is it maybe we're playing it down? Uh, I don't know. The Texas piece of this, they're going to move to Texas. That had been sort of telegraphed. Do you think that other companies are going to follow suit? Um, Andrew, corporate governance uh, has been evolving um, for 50 years between the states and between the federal government um, and the like, and, and there has there has been competition. Um, uh, for shareholders and corporations as to where they're going to incorporate, um, I do I do think that Texas, Nevada, um, others are challenging Delaware. Um, and, and look, our federal system it's it's appropriate to have uh, have competition. Not, and I don't think I don't think this is necessarily a race to the bottom. Let's go, man! Definitely, and I'm super stoked. I hope we go to Texas. I mean, I'm voting for Texas. Skip a Delaware. Who was in Delaware anyway? Who, who Dela? Who Dela? Who man? Delaware man, get up out of here. We need to be in Texas. Texas is all around good. We got big factories in Texas. Like I don't care, but I love how he said this is America. There's going to be a lot of opinions about it, rightfully so. I didn't even want to read the comments because they were just reckless, and they were just a bunch of. Let me see how I could define them. Haters. But a lot of people who were skeptical, skeptical and had opposing positions and probably don't even own any stock, right? They're just normies walking by like, you said Elon? Oh, I got something to tell you. I'm like, bro, what? you're not even a part of the vote. Get up out of here. But net net at the end of the day, I think it's great that states compete in places like Nevada and Texas are definitely of higher priority or interest to other actual corporations and for states to compete is good you know we can always move and relocate so if we move out of delaware i would be happy and not as something that is reactionary to this actual specific case but i think it's something that should have been done in the first place and so here comes more disclosure from tesla dear fellow stockholders tesla will hold its annual meeting of stockholders in june 13th 2024 and we will be asking you to approve a number of important proposals recommended by Tesla's board. Information about the proposal below and others are available at supportteslavalue.com, okay? And the proposals recommended by the Tesla board is the... So we're going to do the ratification of the 2018, 2018 guys, CEO Performance Award and reincorporating Tesla in the state of Texas. Let's go, man. I want to go to Texas, man. You see... Tesla for Texas, man. I need to do a hashtag. Tesla for Texas. Yeah, that's the new joints right there. We need to go to Texas. I don't need to know anything. <laughs> so the background. Over the past five years, thanks to the leadership of Tesla and the CEO, Elon Musk, shout out to the big homie, and strong performance of the Tesla team under Elon's management. Shout outs to both of them, guys. Remember, there's leaders and followers. Both are important. So shout outs to Elon and the actual supporters, that meaning the staff. Tesla has not only advanced its mission of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy, but it has created tremendous value for you, the owners of the company. Thank you, Tesla. I'm being 100 percent honest about that. Elon Musk's accomplishment since board and stockholders approved 2018 CEO Performance Award. So this is before. Right. And since then, what has he done since we approved the performance award? So grew revenues from approximately eleven point eight billion to ninety six point eight billion. Let's talk turkey. 
turned around profitability from 2.2 billion loss to a 15 billion profit. Talk Turkey increased the value of the company from 53.7 billion to 791.3 billion. Talk Turkey. Talk Greenbacks. Talk Benjamin Franklin's. Talk Guap. Guacamole, bread, cheddar. We talking that. Oversaw groundbreaking innovations in artificial intelligence and sustainable energy. Shout outs to Mega Pack and Full Self Driving. Supervised. Next one. Designed and built the best selling vehicle in the world. Let me get big on them real quick. The best selling vehicle in the world, not the best EV, not the best hybrid, not the best Sudan, the best vehicle in the world, Craig, not America, not North America, not the West, but the world, Craig. Shout outs to BYD. We on your neck. Let's continue. Talk Turkey. Reduce CO2 emissions by tens of millions of tons. Yeah, okay. Grew the energy business more than 5x from 1.1 billion to 6 billion. Shout outs to the energy business that's on its way to the upper room. Once we get more factories, mega factories up besides the one in California, shout outs to Shanghai and shout outs to Austin. We're going to be in it to win it. Now let's go. I think we're also doing an expansion in Nevada. So we're really in it to win it. Let's go. Talk Turkey. Developed unique and advanced technology as demonstrated by FSD supervised. Remember, I just talked about that supervised, supervised. I just got to highlight that because I don't want some normie going in on the comments talking about, hey, man, that's not that's not autonomous level 88. Like, calm down on the calm down. So here we go. Shareholders approved 2018 CEO Performance Award. In 2018, the boards of directors asked stockholders to approve the 2018 CEO Performance Award that incentivized Elon to meet staggering financial and operational objectives over a 10-year period, a decade, guys. You guys be crying if y'all don't get a 2% promotion over a decade. The 2018 Performance Award, which was approved by approximately 73% of all votes casted by disinterest stockholders, was 100% at risk. Elon was entitled to, entitled to receive no salary, no cash bonus, no equity that would vest simply by the passage of time. Instead, he was asked to deliver results that must, that most thought was impossible. So see, we didn't just give him a salary and cash bonuses and equity just because time passed by like normies. Normies, you go to work and because time passed by from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., you want to get paid. And then when it becomes a decade later, you think you should be CEO. Not based off of performance. Not based off of value created. So you never heard of people saying, I'm just at work watching the time go by. But Elon has been working. And it's based on results, baby. Elon's only opportunity to receive any compensation at all for his work and leadership would be a 100% at risk performance award consisting exclusively of stock options that would Vest only if certain exceptionally ambitious milestones were met. The performance awards would vest in tranches if Tesla receives both market capitalization milestones and operational milestones. And look at this to the moon. Let's put that on the big screen. And I wish at the same time I could drop a bomb on y'all. Market capitalization at time of grant. Look where we were. Market cap, 59 billion. And as we move on, we got the 1.7, we got the 3.4, the 5.1, the 6.8, the 8.4, the 10.1, the 11.8, 13.5. Let's go. The growth, the growth, the growth, the accumulated growth ending at 650 billion on a 20.3x revenue increase to what? 
175 billion, approximately 15x from 17 2017. We out here in the streets, guys. This is just facts. And when you have somebody who performs, you pay your dues. Shout outs to me as an investor and a shareholder. I say pay the man. I think he should have been hit us with the Jerry Maguire. Where's the money at? Where's the cash? Now, I'm going to actually read off the highlighted parts, the bolded parts, and not all of this. But you could go check this out at supportteslavalue.com. All right? Now, let's get it. Fully aligned with stockholders' best interests as stockholders recognized by voting in favor in 2018, the CEO Performance Award was simple. If stockholders achieved average or somewhat above average returns, Elon would likely receive nothing. So if we was average, if we was you at work or slightly above average, which is you at work, normies, Elon received nothing. If you had a contract that said that, you would call it slavery. But if the company achieved exceptional results, Elon could earn exceptional incentives. And that's what we're talking about here. Everybody loves to hate Tesla at this point. It can't be spelled out any louder. Carefully and thoroughly determined by the independent directors of the Tesla board with interested parties, we made it happen. Elon's visionary leadership has been demonstrated time and again. That is facts on the city. You can't argue. If you argue, you just ugly. Look at what we're talking about here. Look at the look at the charts. It's not even about. Look at the charts. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. Go to Google then. If you don't believe this sheet, man, that sheet is a conspiracy. Highly ambitious and designed to incentivize Elon not only remained at the helm of Tesla, but also to continue to strive for exceptional value creation that most would consider impossible. Elon did not fail, and his success is shared by stockholders who received the lion's shares of the value generated. I got my money. Now let's pay the man. Let's talk turkey. But the court's decision, if implemented, means that Elon would not receive any compensation for more than five years of service to Tesla, effectively rendering him an unemployed, unpaid employee, despite his many accomplishments, which include driving us to dominate the electric vehicle market and sell the best-selling vehicle in any category, leading us to groundbreaking innovations in artificial intelligence and sustainable energy. Shout outs to the Mega Pack, because a lot of y'all hate on FSD. So let me focus on the Mega Pack, which you cannot deny its value in its margins and growing stockholders' value almost 1,100%. Let's go. We do not agree with the Delaware court's decision. So we are giving stockholders the chance to make their voices heard. We believe in the stockholders democracy. This important decision should be made by the owners of the company. That's you. That's me. That's obstacles to opportunity. That ain't no buck tooth judge. It ain't no buck tooth lawyers. It's me. I'm going to make the decision. I got to vote. <laughs> My vote counts. My vote counts over here. So we finna go. Now, let me skip this and shout out to the package. Elon, you're going to get paid. You got my vote. All right. Simplified Dallas, always faithful, Marine style. Not like you normies, you weasels on the news report talking about, well, if he accomplished it and it was impossible, well, I mean, now that I got to pay him $55 billion, what if I could reduce it by $10 billion or $20 billion? Why would I even want to do business like that? That would disincentivize anybody from doing business with me because you will renigger. Oh, I mean, you renege. My bad. You renege so much. And that's what I basically said, renege. But I just put er on the back end. <laughs> but anyways, Texas legal regime is strong and fair and more appropriate for our mission. Shout out to Texas, man. And I'm proud to be in the Texas 
where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the Alamo who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to Texas and defend her still today. Yeah, forget Delaware, because it ain't no doubt I love this state. God bless the Texas state. The board of directors, after receiving the recommendation of an independent special committee, has recommended that Tesla stockholders support the conversion of the company from one organized under the laws of Delaware to one organized under the laws of the state of Texas. Let's get that. I don't even know what's in Delaware. Let's get up out of there and go to Texas. I got my crib in actual Texas. I got my, you know, good family in Texas. We, we got props in Texas, real estate syndications in Texas. Texas is the land of the frontier. The reasons the board recommends Tesla be reincorporated. Let's go through this real quick. The board of directors is troubled by the growing uncertainty with respect to the future of Delaware corporate law and by the Delaware court's ability and willingness to make decisions contrary to the will of our stockholders. They violated the thing, man. They violated me, man. They violated my investment, man. Some judge put their hands in my investments. I'm at them 150% legally. We got beef from the Middle East all the way originating straight to the east of Delaware. The board, <laughs> the board of directors believes that the will of the stockholders, when expressed with a vote, should be treated as definitive. The Delaware court no longer seems to reflect those ideals. Cool. All right. You want to be like that? You want to be a waste man? So we just leave. Some of our large stockholders have urged us to leave Delaware to a location more conductive to our company's growth plan. That's facts. Tesla corporate headquarters and future are in Texas. Salute, man. That's what I'm talking about. We about to get, we about to get jiggy with it. In 2021, the company relocated its global headquarters to Texas, our largest manufacturing facility, Gigafactory, Texas. It also located in the state, and we employ thousands of employees in Travis County. Shout out to Austin. And in Texas, corporate law is developed, and the state has invested in a specialty business court to handle complex commercial matters with commercially knowledgeable judges. Yeah, let's go to judges who know something about something, right? Like at the beginning of the actual court document, the judges threw hate. Like, eh, did the richest man in the world get underpaid? Like, bro, what's that got to do with the law? You buck tooth. Let's continue. Therefore, we. Uh, we be we will be asking you. I'm about to say, man, they talking Ebonic, uh, Ebonics out here. Therefore, we will be asking you to help us head off the risk posed by remaining incorporated in Delaware and approve our proposal to reconstitute under the laws of Texas. We urge you to support Tesla's proposal at the 2024 annual meeting. For additional information, please visit supportteslavalue.com. Thank you for your continued support. Sincerely, the chairperson of the board. Shout outs to him. Shout outs to the reference. And if you guys want to go out there, then go check out supportteslavalue.com. All my people who are invested in Tesla and everybody who's actually invested in the future of America, corporations and companies innovating. We're being the cutting edge and the best selling vehicle in the planet, guys. What are you talking about? We were losing to China. We were losing to Asia. Toyota Volkswagen was kicking us in the side of the neck, Bruce Lee style. But Elon brought us back from the abyss. Tesla and its employees and their dedication has brought us back from the abyss. A fantastic day for capitalism. SpaceX has brought us back from the abyss. Russians leading aviation and rocket technology. We lead the pack now. We have control. Everyone loves to hate Tesla, but Tesla shareholders love to love Tesla. Elon, shout outs to you. Keep leading from the front. 
And shout outs to the great state of Texas in the great country of USA. Calling all investors, calling all investors. Beware of all Tesla haters. Second guessers, negative Nancys, commies, <laughs> doubters, scaredies. We are dedicated to the future. We are dedicated to making a company that was good, great. Everybody plays their role. Now, when it comes down to this vote, pull up. Because we're going to turn this bad boy into Sparta. This is Sparta! Let's get busy. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. Let's get it.